It is time for Chicago Robinson to start his senior season. After spending the first three years of his collegiate career at Memphis, the senior entered the transfer portal last offseason and transferred to the University of Wisconsin, where he will not only be looking to help lead the Badgers to a Big Ten Conference Championship and a National Championship, but he will be looking to finally win the Heisman Trophy here in his final collegiate season. It will be a tough test though as the Badgers have a tough regular season schedule ahead of them. So let's head on down to the field and get things started with the first game of the season as they're at home taking on Colorado State. The Badgers would start with the ball. Third and six first pass attempt of the day for Robinson would be completed. Keeping this drive alive now on the read option that's going nowhere. With this offense Robinson is going to be expected to run the ball a lot more which is not something we saw a lot of at Memphis so he'll have to get good at it quick as that first drive would fizzle out but they're defense would get a stop and we would come to the end of the first quarter a very slow start for Robinson in the Badgers offensively as they've only put up eight passing yards total in the entire first quarter looking to change that here to start the second as Robinson going left side that's going to be completed for a first down and more past midfield Derek Hendricks the sophomore tight end with the big reception for the Badgers as Robinson hit in the pocket drop for a loss on that one another third down going left side that will be completed for a first and this drive stays alive for Robinson in the offense as he's going right side on a quick wide receiver screen and Carlos Browning takes it all the way to the end zone for a touchdown. Chicago Robinson's first career touchdown pass with the Badgers. And just like that, they're up seven to nothing over Colorado State, but it should be a much bigger lead as they're looking to extend it before halftime. Just under two minutes to go. Robinson across the middle. That's held on to for a fresh set of downs going right side now on his check down. And the senior quarterback is slowly but surely getting his offense down the field into the red zone as there is just over a minute to go here in the first half, second and to Robinson going right side. That's going to be intercepted by Jonte Stevens of the Colorado State defense. Robinson can't make the diving tackle, and it looks like this one is going to be taken back all the way to the house for a pick six and Colorado State is gonna tie it up just like that before halftime. That is not how Robinson and the offense wanted to end the second half here as it is a brand new ball game now tied seven apiece at the start of the third quarter. Chicago seeming to have a hard time adjusting to running the read option. He's much more of a quarterback who likes to break out of the pocket and not so much run out of it. So that will be the big key to see if he can adjust to that throughout the season as he makes the right read here and the senior quarterback picks up nine yards on that keeper play action dropping back to throw now going left side that's going to be another first down getting the Badgers past midfield second and ten on the RPO swinging it right side and that'll bring up another third down let's see if the Badgers can convert they will it's Trek Kikahuna wide open Robinson finds him for the touchdown as they take the lead they would tack on a field goal after that and all they would need to do is kneel the clock out here at Camp Randall and the Badgers would get a close victory here to open up the season 17 to 7 over Colorado State despite the slow start Chicago Robinson was named player of the game as he would throw for 206 yards two touchdowns and one interception in his Wisconsin debut it's clear that if Robinson wants to have any success here with the Badgers he's gonna need to be able to run the read option effectively so his main focus this season will be increasing his speed that'll bring to the second game of the season where the Badgers get ready to take on the fourth ranked Panthers of Pittsburgh and they will be traveling over to Ireland to take them on in the Dublin Classic. Robinson in the Badgers would start out facing a third and 12. He dropped back to throw. That would be dumped off right side and a first down. We'll see if they can do it again here on another third down as Robinson going right side again but it would be short. So we'd move to the second quarter and it would only be three nothing. Pitt would lead but Wisconsin was staying in this game. Chicago hoping to get his offense down the field and take the lead this possession as that's going to be intercepted by the pit defense. It was tipped 
and then caught as the Pittsburgh Panthers will take back over. What a play by the defense. The Badgers defense would hold strong though despite the field position forcing them to a field goal. And that was just an unfortunate break for Robinson as his receiver held it but couldn't hold on to it. As this time his receiver holds on to it, this one is going to be taken all the way to the end zone for a touchdown. Devon Fuse gets the Badgers on the board for the first time today. What a pass by Robinson, and their defense has still been holding strong today. The pressure getting to Robinson on that one, though. It's 7-6 to six as we head to the fourth quarter. And it looks like it's going to stay that way as Robinson just hasn't been able to avoid that pressure from Pitt so far. Facing a third and ten, let's see if the Badgers can convert. Yes, they will but backed up to another tricky situation here. They don't want to give the ball back to the Panthers, but it looks like they will. Thankfully, the defense would force a turnover, and Chicago would be able to kneel this one out, and he would help lead his team to an upset victory 7-6 over the number four ranked team in the country. And while it wasn't a pretty stat line by any means, 9 for 12, 145 yards, and one touchdown, a win is a win for this team. And even though Pitt would drop all the way down to 14, that time top five win wouldn't get the Badgers a ranking in the top 25 polls. So we'll see if a win back home against Bowling Green will be enough to get them ranked in the top 25 for the first time this season. The Badgers starting deep in Bowling Green territory to get this game started. On second and three already from the seven yard line, Robinson to the end zone. He has Defon Fuse and the senior receiver gets the Badgers on the board first tonight. And just like that, it is a 14 to nothing game here after a defensive touchdown. And we are not even to the second quarter yet, so a much better start for the Badgers than last week. Second and two here from their own 27 yard line. Robinson flushed out of the pocket, rolling to his right. He's gonna take it himself. The senior quarterback picking up 10 yards on that carry for a fresh set of downs. Looking to convert now on third and one, right around midfield. It's gonna be a handoff, but Bowling Green gets the stop. And their offense would go down and tack on a field goal to get on the board for the very first time today as Robinson showing off some speed here, throwing on the run. That's going to be completed. What a play. A great job by the senior quarterback to keep that play alive and his eyes downfield. But unfortunately, wouldn't be able to avoid the sack on that one. Bring it up second and 15. Taking a shot deep to the end zone. That's going to be caught for a touchdown as the Badgers get on the board again. Trick Kekahuna with that touchdown. And they would have 30 seconds left to work with to try to get on the board once again as Robinson across the middle completes it down to the 22 yard line of Bowling Green now inside the 15. 13 seconds left to go. Still one timeout remaining to the end zone. That's completed to Devon Fuse. Robinson finds him again for his second touchdown of the day. So the Badgers managing to get those two touchdowns before halftime and they'd be up 28 to 10 trying to see if they can tack on another one here before the end of the third quarters on third and seven that would be knocked incomplete as the offense would stall in the third quarter nothing going for them there finally a big play here though is that slant route's going to be completed across the middle a 46 yard connection there between robinson and carlos browning as now he's going right side completed again that would now bring up a third and eight robinson looking he's hit as he throws that falls incomplete and while the offense would do much more than that the Badgers would still get the victory here 31 to 17 over the Falcons and Robinson with a much improved game from last week would be named player of the game throwing for three touchdowns today against the Bowling Green defense and hopefully this is a sign of things to come for the senior quarterback as even though they got this win here at home tonight the real test of the season would be started next week as Robinson and the Wisconsin Badgers got ready to start Big Ten Conference play and it would begin with with a tough game on the road going up against Michigan State. This game would not be off to a great start for Chicago Robinson as he would be picked off by the Michigan State defense on his first pass of the day. That turnover would result in a touchdown for the Spartans, so Robinson and the Badgers were now playing from behind trying to tie it up this possession. To do that, this drive had to stay alive on third and four as Robinson would find an open Grant stack, and the junior tight end would pull in the first down reception to keep the Badgers drive alive. Facing another third down, Robinson would 
barely get this pass off in time, and instead of tying the game up, Wisconsin would have to settle for a field goal, but on their next possession, Robinson would take a shot deep and would find his receiver Carlos Browning for a 55-yard touchdown pass to take the lead. The Badgers defense would get a stop after that, but Robinson would give the ball right back to the Spartans with another interception, and because of the senior's second turnover of the night, Wisconsin was now playing from behind once again. With a little over a minute and a half to go in the first half, Robinson was trying to make up for that mistake and get his team down the field and into the end zone for points before halftime. It would be tricky though as he would be facing a third and ten and would almost be intercepted a third time by the Michigan State defense. He at least managed to get the offense into field goal range for three points and his defense would give them one more chance before the half. Chicago Robinson would take full advantage of it as on first and goal he would roll out and find tight end Grant Steck wide open for a touchdown with 27 seconds left. That would send the Badgers to the second half with a six point lead and Robinson would open up with a deep shot connecting with Carlos Brown down the left side for 55 yards. Only a couple plays later, Robinson would pull it on a read option and the senior quarterback would take it in himself to the end zone, as the Badgers now had an 11 point lead over the Spartans as the third quarter wound down to a close. Despite the Badgers not being able to move the ball that effectively in the fourth quarter, their senior quarterback would still give them some insurance points as he would connect with Carlos Browning for his second touchdown of the game, and that would help lead the Badgers to a 35 to 17 victory over the Spartans, with Robinson throwing for almost 240 yards in the game. Despite starting their season 4-0, the Badgers were still not ranked, but hopefully that could change with their upcoming game against number 2 Illinois. It was a rainy day in Champaign-Urbana against number 2 Illinois, so it looked like this would be a tough matchup for Robinson and the Badgers today. The Illini had them backed up to a 3rd and 11 to open up their first drive, and the Illinois defense would force a 3 and out against the Badgers. That would allow the number 2 ranked Illini to score touchdown and take the first lead of the day in this game as Robinson was looking to get his offense down the field and into the end zone to tie this game back up. Just over a minute to go in the second quarter, the senior quarterback would take off out of the pocket scrambling for the end zone but would end up just short of it. So on the very next play he would do the exact same thing to the other side and this time would find his way into the end zone to tie this game up at seven points apiece. With both teams only scoring one touchdown apiece in the first half, it looked like this game was going to be a defensive battle in the second half. The Illini had done a good job of forcing the Badgers into third down situations, and so far in the second half, they had not done a good job at all at being able to convert any of them. This third down almost cost the Badgers big time as Robinson would end up putting the football on the ground, but the offense would recover it. Finally though, they would pick up a third down conversion in the red zone to start the fourth quarter, but on third and goal, it would be another failed third down conversion for the Badgers offense. After settling for a field goal, their defense would get a stop but the offense still could not stay on the field to run the clock out, so it would be up to the defense as they would hold off the Illini and help get the victory over them, and Chicago Robinson would be named player of the game. You would have thought a win over the number two team in the country would have got the Badgers ranked, but it didn't, so they will just have to prove themselves once again in another ranked matchup as they got ready to take on number one Penn State at home. The Nittany Lions would jump out to an early 7-0 lead over Wisconsin to start the game, but this first drive for Chicago Robinson and the Badgers offense looked like it was off to a promising start for them. They had the ball right around midfield with a fresh set of downs as Robinson would hand it off up the middle to Theo Snyder, but the sophomore running back would put the football on the ground and Penn State would recover. Now down 10 to nothing, it was not looking good for the Badgers in the second quarter. With only a minute to go, they needed to get the ball down the field and some points on the board before half, but this entire half they had been backed up to third and longs and had not been able to convert almost any of them. This pattern continued for Robinson in the Wisconsin offense to start the second half against Penn State. Thankfully, their defense had done a good job of keeping the Nittany Lions out of the end zone though. If only Robinson in the offense could do that as he would throw an interception to Elliott Washington of the defense and he would take it back for a pick six. It was now a 17 to nothing lead for Penn State and Robinson was continuing to make poor decisions and now had two interceptions on the day. Why not make it three interceptions though as on second and ten he would be picked off for the second time by Elliott Washington of the Penn State defense, and that would secure the win for Penn State as they would shut out Wisconsin here at home. Thankfully, Chicago had a bye week to train and recover from that tough loss as he and the Badgers look to close out the second half of their season next episode.